Microsoft Copilot started its life as one big monolith, but as usage exploded Edge, Windows, Mobile, even Xbox, the team needed a leaner, more reliable backend. In just four months, a small Copilot squad rewrote their entire backend into dozens of microservices using .NET Aspire. It resulted in three times faster response times, code base slimmed down to 5% of its original size, feature parity was maintained, and it has a 999 9% uptime, which is a non-negotiable for tools that millions rely on. It also resulted in easy onboarding. New devs get it up and running on day one, no tangled scripts or a bunch of manual steps. Their local dev workflow is insanely efficient with .NET Aspire. Hitting F5 in VS Code or Visual Studio calls Aspire up under the hood and every microservice launches end to end. They've got built in service discovery, which means you can call another API just by name. Their devs also get the luxury of spinning up supporting bits right on their laptops. This might be self-glazed, but Microsoft also hypes up the .NET Aspire dashboard. It shows live traces, metrics, logs, so you can spot bottlenecks or errors easily. So if we sift through all the self-hype, there are a few lessons we can learn. Tooling matters. A good CLI enhances the dev workflow, and microservices don't necessarily equal chaos. When done right, with name-based discovery, you can run a bunch of services without a ton of containers. 